Hey, hey, Starshine. Hey, Starshine. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, y'all. Back with another video. Thank you, thank you for coming back. This is part two of our video, Don't Change to Keep a Man. Now we're going to talk about he's never going to change. Who's ready for that? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Are you here? Let's talk about people who said I should just be happy that somebody told me happy birthday. Y'all, so my son says I'm extra, right? Because I hate happy belated birthday. I hate happy belated birthday. Today's not my birthday. Some This is somebody else's special day. Like, we don't have to... No, you don't have to... Yeah, I understand my birthday is all month but it's not my day <laughs> just saying um yeah but don't ever tell me you should just be grateful no you should be grateful that i was born because it was my born day i was born on this day if you're happy that i'm born then you should put it on your calendar mark it something not saying that you should, but if it was important enough to you, then you would have. That's a pure fact. So don't tell me I should just be grateful. You should just be grateful that anybody wants you. If that's the case, why you want a wealthy man? You should just be grateful anybody wants you. Damn that. Girl, whatever. Mm -mm. Just saying. I, I do things like this and I say things like this because I want you guys to think about it. Think about, think about what that says. Happy belated birthday means I didn't think of you on your birthday. Oh, I missed it. If you missed it, it's over with. It's all right. Yes. Sure. Is it working? It's working now? So there you go. Oh, thank you, Be in Peace. So it's just me and Baby Fox today because big brothers are driving by themselves, going to get haircuts. So if Pastor has to kind of get up and move around, just know that some of the uh, comments are probably, if I have to edit, some of the comments are going to be missing. Sorry, should have been here. Um, thank you, Be in Peace. She says, Mickey, thanks for sharing the playbook. Women are never taught. Women are never taught any of this and have to learn the hard way. Men are not the problem, but as women, we have to learn to protect ourselves. Absolutely. Thank you for do your donation, but absolutely, absolutely, I believe that. I believe that. Um, when we take accountability and we say, okay, what can I do? Am I looking fuzzy? What the heck is wrong with my camera? <laughs> When we take accountability, it makes life so much easier. So it looks good. Okay, maybe it's just on my end. All right. He is never going to change. He's never going to change. Never. Literally, he's never going to change, y'all. This is important because women get into relationships wanting, wishing, and hoping that this man will change. They do. Without a doubt, um, they get into relationships and hope for the best. My husband, I started out working and now I, won't, I, don't, I want him to take care of me solely. I want to stop working. But that's not how you started out, right? You expect him to want what you want. You expect him to change because you changed. You expect him to be there and have... Um, all of the feelings you have just because you have them. And that's not how it should be. You should have your own thoughts and he should have his own thoughts. But recognize when you get him, this is the way he's going to stay. Men don't change and they expect you not to change as well. You did? What is it saying? 
Do you know how to fix it? You want mommy to turn it to your channel? Yeah. Okay, pastor's got editing. Oh, y'all know how to be here. One moment. BRB, look the wall, sing choir. Okay, church. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Sorry. All right. So, if he did it before, he'll do it again. Y'all was singing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you, guys. So, um, have more than one. Yes. So, back to what we were saying. Men don't change. Yes, it happens. Yes, sometimes men can go from being a cheater to not being a cheater. They can go from, um, you know, not having a good job to having an extremely good job and being able to fly you all over the world and your whole family and all of that. It does happen. It does happen. But the chances of it happening are not very high. This doesn't happen often. And to have the expectation that it will happen with every single man you're dating is where the problem comes in. I think that's where a lot of the problem comes in. Because women have an expectation that he's going to change. It's going to get better. No matter where we are right now, I know things are going to get better. I know he's going to be a better man for me if I just try harder. If I just stay longer, if I just um, manipulate him a little more, if I come up with another scenario, if I lie and tell him I'm pregnant. Mm -hmm. If I tell his mom and him, if I hope and hope and wish and pray and pray and pray, then maybe, oh, cash out. Who is this? Send me a cash out. Who was that? Thank you, and who was that? And you, oh, I can't pronounce your name, but thank you for that. Wow, cash out. Thank you, thank you for that. Wow, that was a good one. So, so what was I saying? Oh, hey, hey. So yes, they they don't they don't men like things the way they start. This the reason why a lot of men don't change is because, and they expect the same from you. Let's like our last video. He expects expects. Oh, that was you. Yep, and Ayana Toyin. Toyin. Thank you so much for that Toyin. Thank you but they're not gonna change. He is not going to change. Mickey, what if you can't find a side dude that makes as much or more than your current? Do that mean I need to level up? Um, Not necessarily. Maybe you need to go to some different places. Maybe you need to go out more. Maybe you need to go out more. There's billions of people all over the world. Maybe you need to get a, a app, whatever the little dating apps are, but there's always one. If you found one, just like, <clears throat> Wherever you see one rat, there's a whole family of them behind that one. So he, they didn't break the mold when they made that one. You just need to put yourself and place yourself in spaces that you can do that and find another one. Um, yeah, if you agree, 
to a relationship dynamic you dislike, you might as well leave because even in lesbian relationships, people don't change. I don't know about that. Never had a lesbian relationship, but I would have to agree with that. A, a, a man, I know for a fact a man is not going to change. He's not. You can wait and wait and wait. I posted this on my Instagram. The red flags you see in the beginning will be the reason why you leave. Why? Because he's not going to change. He shouldn't have to change. Why should he have to change if you are, um, if you liked him that way? I'm not going to change. Oh, thank you, Legacy. Thank you, Legacy. Why should he have to change, though? If you liked him this way, why would I want to switch the game up? Mm -mm. I'm going to stay just the way you found me. You can like it or leave it. Thank you. She says, always happy to see your beautiful face. Love you, gorgeous. Thank you, Legacy. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. So men don't have hearts. <laughs> so Shantae's new. Hey, Shantae. 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 Who remember that? Shantae's new, and she would like to know if men have hearts. Women aren't meant to be savages. Men are taught that growing up, it's horrible. No, it ain't. Look, look at the. Let me. Ooh, I'm about to. I'm about to put this in your life. Pastor might have to be late to my little engagement, but I'm gonna put this in y'all's life because y'all, this. Shantae, let me help all the new babies. Pastor has to remind herself constantly that there are thousands of people who have never seen me before. <laughs> Heard it? Clearly, I thought everybody knew me. And sometimes, sometimes I get a little spicy and forget. I forget that not everybody know you, Pastor. Everybody don't know and think like you do. So I have to explain sometimes. I have to explain sometimes. But we're going to do that. It is not savagery or savage or mean or hateful or bad or any of that to look out for number one. Who is number one? You are Shantae. You are uh, Carla. You are Becca. You are Kel. You are number one in your life. You are. No one else is. So if I'm looking out for myself and I'm going to be making sure I'm happy, I'm going to be making sure that where he falters, this one ain't fine. This one fine. This one got money. This one know the best places I like to eat. This one know my family. This one knows the real me. I can be myself with him. He makes me laugh. If there are, if I got six or two, 12 and four and three and eight, and they all come together and make one good in them, what's the harm in that? They have been doing it for the, since the beginning of the time of time. Let me put some book in y'all's life. Let me put some real the, the, So they say the story they told us and gave us. Oh, B and P. She says, yes, Mickey, your first argument is always the last argument. Always have your standards and be willing to walk away. Come on, B and peace. Yes. Think about it. If they've been doing it, supposedly they came first. What no woman around? Heaven. Ting, ting, ting. Hallelujah. Shondo. Bam. Adam. He came first. What? I'm just doing what they do. That's all. That's all. No two rights don't make a wrong. Blah, blah, whatever, whatever. But that wrong is going to make me feel right about what happened. That wrong is going to make me feel right about what happened. Just saying. So I'm always number one. I'm always going to be number one. Women were not made like men. You are absolutely correct. You have a 100% very valid, good point. We were not. But it's time that women start kind of thinking like along those lines. It's time that women really start examining if what I've always done has not worked for me. What the heck? Why continue doing something that you know is not working? You know it's not working. You know it has not worked. It didn't work for your mama. It didn't work for your auntie, her grandma, 
None of that. But you want to still sit there and be like, well, we just, we not made the same. We not made the same. Mm -mm. Why? Who, Antoinette? How do you know if it's a real red flag or your past trauma that you're putting on someone else? If you feel like you have past trauma, then it is that. If you feel like the way you see the world is based on, oh, thank you, Joy. If you feel like the way you see the world is not, is through trauma, the fact that you even have that verbiage and have that in your consciousness means that you are seeing the world through your past traumas. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't have that as a part of your consciousness, then it's most likely not the case. But you are, Miss Antoinette. Because you've asked this question a couple of times. And I'm going to assume that you are. Just based on that. Um, so yeah. Hi, Joy says, hi, I'm late to the live. I hope you had a wonderful solar return. We'll watch later while on the Stairmaster getting this body together. Love you. Love you too, Joy. See, that's how you say happy belated birthday. Let me just a little something. A little snack for the boys. That's how you do that. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Joy. Um, okay, so self-preservation is a natural survivor skill, but has and being taken away from women. Ask yourself why. Exactly. If we don't have any sort of self-preservation, they know to how to keep you stuck. They know how to keep you there. They know how to help you um, be, you know, complacent with his behavior. They know how to, to make you stay even though he's cheating, even though he out, if I call, if I'm cheating and I call you and say, Hey, where you been? I'm just trying to see, you know, what's going on. See if you're going to be available tonight. Sometimes that call ain't to see where you at. That call is to make sure you ain't nowhere where I am. So you can see me doing what I'm doing. See that? Think about it. They try to keep you thinking and in a certain box so that they're free to do what they want to do. And it makes sense, just like some forms of religion. I won't mention any of them. I'm not talking about anybody's religion. I'm saying some forms of religion want to keep you humble, long-suffering. Oh, he going to bless me in his time. Oh, it ain't, it's just not my season. They want to keep you full of all this, oh, uh, dumb you down kind of thing. So that you can keep giving them money. Passing them a new Cadillac. Oh. You saying. And. Who's. Okay. We all have been traumatized somewhat. Haven't we? Depends on who you are. Yeah. I've had some trauma. Yeah. I think most of us have. It's just. It's just different. Um, the way that we all process it. So yeah, I agree, Miss Ranisha. I have a gay guy friend. I thought getting advice from him was good because he's a guy, but hell, we in the same boat. Give me some advice. I don't know. I don't have gay guy friends. I don't, I've never even studied the mind of a yeah, gay person. I don't know. I don't know. I would assume he, maybe he's feminine, um, but there's a whole dynamic there. Somebody's feminine, somebody's masculine, uh, my channel is for um, the stand, but uh, you know, pretty soon, um, being homosexual or gay may be the standard. So I don't know. I would never um, get advice from a gay man, though. Just saying, I would get gay. I would get advice from a heterosexual masculine man, which I have, and this is where a lot of this material comes from. A a heterosexual man can give you excellent advice about men. He's a man. Now, a feminine man, that's a whole nother, that's a mixture of some stuff that may not necessarily equate or translate into the type of relationship you have. It could, it could, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, some people have experience with gay men, but I don't particularly. I don't, so I'm not sure. Um, do I think women believe a man will change because of the build together and 50 50 struggle love BS that we've been fed? I think women. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, me. Yeah. It's payday for me. So it's payday for you. Oh, 
that is so sweet. Mia, she says, you are the mother, sister, auntie in my head. Thank you for the gems, Miss Pink. Oh, that's so sweet. That is so sweet of you, Mia. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, guys. That's so nice. Um, so I think it may stem from the fact that we fell in love with the fairy tale, fell in love with the Disney movie, fell in love with um, struggle. People want you to be long suffering when you're a woman. They want you to, you know, um, to keep uh, staying and staying, staying and praying, staying and praying. That's what they teach women to do. Girl, you just need to pray for them. You know, a man, and they, they sometimes, these men, girl, I don't know. We're taught to stay and pray. Women are literally groomed to be doormats. Some women, now it's different now because there are a lot of women who are groomed to be just like men. You do what he can do, but it's only where it benefits a man. Think about it. They only groom you to be equal to a man, to have the same standards and morals and all that as a man. When it comes to work, they want you to work like a man. They want you to build like a man and provide like a man to make their jobs easier. That's why. That's the only reason why they would ever want you to be equal to a man. The only time when it involves work and making their life easier, yes. But anything other than that, absolutely not. Absolutely not. So yes, it does have to do with the 50-50 mentality, but also falling in love with uh, a, a hope and a wish. People always hope and wish. Our country is... Oh, this is deep. Okay, spirit, this is deep. Our country, the African-American community... I can't really speak for Caucasians because I don't, you know, I don't know. But the African-American community, our culture, Western culture, is built on a bunch of... I didn't miss a super chat. I didn't miss a super chat. It's built on a bunch of hopes, hopes and wishes and dreams. This is about to tell y'all the frontals. If you got a frontal, if you got a lace front, hold it. Hold your lace front. Secure the lace front. Secure it. Secure it because this is deep. Women always, it's always hope. If you sell a woman a dream, baby, she's in hook line sinker you ain't gotta you ain't gotta tell you ain't even gotta put women love being lied to help me help me women love being lied to they love a lie they y'all love oh girl you can do it girl mm -mm. girl bitch you better do it and you know you you look ugly and basic women love a lie women love a lie Girl, that is cute. Don't you know somebody will let you walk out the bathroom with toilet paper in your butt, hanging out your butt, and won't say nothing to you? Women love a lie. Just tell me I look good. I don't want to hear none of that. Women love being lied to. Y'all will listen to something that look like the truth. Y'all will listen to something that look like the truth and eat it up. Eat it up and sop it up with a biscuit. Y'all will sop it up with a biscuit. Something that look like the truth. Uh-uh, uh-uh, because he told me. We've been together for a week and he want to move in. What you think, Michaela? Michaela, he want me to move in, girl, and it's only been a week. What you think? What do you, are you thinking, ma'am? Are you thinking? Let's, let's talk about that. Are you thinking? Forget what Michaela think. Are you thinking? Put two and two together, y'all. I'm just saying. Two and two equals two. Two and two is one. One brain. This two equals this two. And it, it, it got to go together. For real. If two and two don't add up, it, something, something is wrong. Women love it. Women love believing in. Hoping and wishing. I can't stand a hope and a wish. When are you going to start doing it? When are you going to start doing it? When are you going to start doing it? Remember the, so we talked about, yes, don't forget to like the video. Remember when we talked about the daddy, uh, the quarantine daddy, the previous daddy that lost his job to take care of the mama, maybe him. I don't, I don't want to, well, you know, I hope one day I'll be able to, don't tell me about what you hope and wish. Hope and wish, 
I can't send that down there to Reliant. I can't send that down there to the uh, center point people and all. I can't. I cannot send hoping and wishing nowhere to pay nothing. Hoping and wishing ain't never got me nowhere and it's never going to get me anywhere. What are you going to do after you? Oh, because see, you know what I'm saying? Because I got big dreams. Oh, yeah. When you going to wake up? A man that want to holler and come to, because you know what I'm saying? I got this, you know, I, I got a, uh, I'm on Instagram and, I, you know, I got this mixtape. Oh, yeah. Have you talked to Sony? Has Sony heard your mixtape? Arista? What is all the, anybody else heard it but you? When, when do your hopes and wishes turn into a reality? When you going to get that surgery? You know your stomach is up there lapped up. You know your stomach is over there lapped up. You know you didn't had two and three kids. Had them, they was, you know, you breastfed them. You was a good mama to them. We know. I understand. I get it. So when you gonna have surgery? You still talk about what you hope and wish. You ain't went to the weight loss doctor yet. You ain't told them people, you know, the, the roles back here. You ain't said nothing to nobody about nothing. Yeah, you got to wear 12 shapers plus duct tape. What? Knees. When, when you going to do it? When are you going to do it? When? That's all I'm saying. When are you going to do it? Y'all, he, if he's never going to, if you go in, he told you, look, my circumstances are this. I don't have a whole lot of money right now. I'm not going to be able to take you everywhere right now. Because I'm helping my brother out. I'm helping my sister out. I'm not a, you know, or, you know, I just lost my job, so I don't have a lot of money. He's never going to give it to you. There was a woman, somebody, uh, Miss MB posted a little baby pink hat. She posted, this woman married a teacher, a whole live teacher. Shout out to the teachers. God bless you. Be glad when y'all start teaching something relevant in school. Back to the video. She married a teacher. She married a teacher and wanted to go to Bora Bora for her 20th anniversary. Um, but asking Steve Harvey, is she wrong? And I'm like, oh, Steve, it's going to cost us about $20,000. How you, how, first of all, how you getting to Bora Bora? How are you even making it? If this man is a teacher... How is y'all even making it? And you want to go to Bora Bora? You seen Steve take Marjorie. You seen Steve take Marjorie to Bora Bora. So now you feel like your husband should take you. She said, we didn't go nowhere for our fifth anniversary. We didn't go nowhere for our 10th anniversary. We didn't go, we didn't go nowhere on these other anniversaries. But on my 20th, I'm trying to go to Bora Bora. And we're not even going to talk about what she was looking like because all women is beautiful let y'all tell it we're not gonna talk about the way she was looking because all women is beautiful more tea look what look what my little baby gave me my middle baby because i have some glasses like this and so he he bought me this for my birthday my middle son mm -hmm. the way she was looking i'm surprised she was going anywhere just saying, 20000 She didn't look like no 20000 type of woman. <laughs> she didn't look like no 20000 type of woman. She seen Steve take Marjorie, so now she feel like she need to go. Girl, you better help him with a side hustle. You better get him a YouTube channel. <laughs> I don't know. That one was weird. He's never going to change. Don't go in thinking a teacher is going to be Steve Harvey. Your teacher ain't Steve. Your teacher is your teacher. Teacher, Steve Harvey. Teacher, let me put y'all at the bottom of the screen. Teacher, Steve Harvey. Dump the teacher and get you a Steve, girl. Dump you that teacher and get Steve. Don't, don't, y'all, stop looking at these videos, going on Instagram, looking at these women looking at they lives, then you want to get mad at your husband because he can't do with these. Uh, that's not it. <laughs> Teacher, Steve Harvey, you, you got to work with what you got. If you signed up for a teacher,
teacher, baby, you got to live with what a teacher can do. That's real simple. Women go in expecting the man to change and it is not going to happen. It's not. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they do change. But why do you want to wait around until he changed? That's the next one. Why do you even want to wait around until he changes? If I'm living like this, how I'm living, and then a man said, well, I lost my job and I can't pay for your, your uh, mortgage and stuff anymore. And I can't really get, you know, pay your car payment and stuff. What that mean? That means you got to go. That means your spot is now open and you need to move around. That's what that means to me. It doesn't mean now I got to come down from this level down to you. Uh-uh. That means when you figure out how to get back up here, holla at your girl. <laughs> I'm going to be waiting, smiling and everything. When you get back on Steve level, then I can smile and laugh and kiki again. But until then, baby, what, what, what we finna do? What, what can we do? Nothing. I'm, don't ever go back. Don't, and then you can't have higher expectations than what this man is capable of. If he never grew up with his father as an example, how do you expect him to be like the Cosby show? How do you expect that? Unless he's already changed and already done his healing and whatever, whatever. How do you expect that? If he never seen his mama with a man, how do you expect to be a housewife? <laughs> Just saying, y'all. If he talking about a mixtape, he might not be on the level that you trying to be on. Be realistic. Whatever he comes in as is what you get. If he always wears them athletic swishy pants things and you expect him to change and wear three-piece suits, it's not going to happen. It's stuff, stuff have to go together. That's not going to happen. He ain't even that type of guy. His best may not be good enough for you. Absolutely, Miss Starshine. That's all I'm saying. And it may be his best. Salute to all you brothers out there that is trying your best. You doing everything you got to, you know, do to provide for your family. You hustling. That's the word. Now my hustle got to match his hustle. You do Shout out to y'all. Wonderful. Yeah, 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 whatever. But if his hustle isn't going to give you what you want, you have a choice to make. In the beginning, in the beginning, in the beginning, you have a choice. They tell you what it is in the beginning. You see what it is in the beginning. If this man don't have no furniture when you meet him, why are you going to wait till he go down to the rent center? Stop waiting. Stop waiting for him. Stop waiting for him. Stop waiting. Stop hope. Wish and hope. We're going to take wish and hope off this channel. Ain't no wish and hope. Oh, Michaela, tell me about your lipstick because I wish I could have it. We're not wishing and hoping. Mm -mm. Oh, I hope, I hope you get back on that beauty channel. Don't wait till I get back on my beauty channel. It takes a little while for me to get on that beauty channel. Don't wait for me. Go find somebody else's beauty channel. Oh, send the word, send. <laughs> Wait, stop waiting, stop hoping, do it. Just do it, just do it. What, what is stopping you from doing it? Do it. Stop wishing and hoping and thinking and waiting around and all of that. Stop, just stop, for real. Just, just let it go. Stop being that person. Stop always pausing and, well, I know, mm -mm, I know, no, I didn't pray. I put my intentions out there. I'm, I'm going to do a spell and make him, I'm going to do a, a mind spell. I'm going to get in there and do a mind spell, which is the same as praying, by the way. Anyway, thought I'd drop that for you. <laughs> I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. I'm going to tell the Lord the intentions of my heart. And he's going to hear He going to hear me because he made me because I am wonderfully and beautifully made. Stop it. After you get through praying and telling the Lord, then what? Then what? 
The Lord, okay, you prayed and you asked God, all right. Then you come back Tuesday. He doing the same thing you was doing when you were sitting there praying and, and lying, lying and telling God, oh Lord, I ain't gonna never, never, you just change him, Lord, change me, give me a clean heart. All that lying and praying and waiting and stuff. And Tuesday come and he ain't changed. So what you finna do, niece? What, 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 what you gonna do, niece? He ain't changed. It's Tuesday. I prayed and did the Lord. You got to wait on. Oh, y'all wait on the Lord, though. To renew your strength. That's what happens. That Y'all wait on the Lord to renew your strength. <sighs> he not going to change, baby. He not. He's not. He is simply not going to change. You can pray. I don't care if you pray to the east and the west. Lay down. Uh. Get a little some of this, splash it on him, put it in his bath water. He he not staying. He's not. He's not. He's still going over there. You prayed and said, hey, I'm going to wait till he stopped cheating. It's Tuesday. He back over there. He back over there with Latrice now. He went back over Latrice's house. You prayed and asked and hoped and was thinking and praying and wishing he wouldn't go back over there. He back over there. Now what? He not going to change. He not going to change. You want to go to Bora Bora. He's still slinging. Mm. <clears throat> hey man, you guys have been delivered from that. He, he, nobody's dating people that are doing those activities. YouTube gods strike that from the record. <laughs> working at Walmart. He works at Walmart in the evenings, four to one. Four to one's his shift. He's unloading trucks. Baby! <laughs> you're not. You're not going to Bora Bora. You're just, you're not. If he got to pick up a second job, you're not going to Bora Bora. You're not. He's not going to change. Look at what it is. He worked this job and got to get another one. Do you want that? Is that the struggle you want? Is that the type of life you want? If that's what you want, stay. Stay, but he's not going to change. And you know he's not going to change. Since you know he's not going to change, do what you need to do. If you know he's not going to change, do what you need to do. Questions. 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 Who has questions about he's not going to change? But I just know my man ain't gonna change because he told me. He told me. I talked to his mama. His mama said he gonna change. Uh uh. We went to counseling. Everything. I done tried everything. He gonna change, Michaela. <laughs> Manager at Dollar General. And if he does, Ozzy. Ozzy, 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 then came through with the final word. Ozzy, bless it, thank you. She came through with the final word. This, this, the whole tea, this the tea that's, you know, okay, when you first get that water out and you didn't let that tea sip and sop for a little bit and see the whatever it's called, when the tea bag drips down into the water, this, that tea. When he, if he ever does change, he going to leave you. Ooh, that's, that's the hard one right there. You want to get a knife in your spirit? Be with, some, be with somebody and that happen. Oh, oh, oh. If you want a knife in your spirit, if you want to cut somebody in your spirit, be with a man to do this. You ain't never been hurt till you've been hurt by this one right here. You ain't never been hurt till you've been hurt by this one right here. If you were a man and you didn't stayed and you didn't prayed and you didn't cried and you didn't waited, ooh, girl, and you didn't fasted, you didn't went to counseling, you didn't did everything you thought and knew you could, baby, you want to talk about some rage? 
If you do all that and you wait, and then he turn right around and go do it for the next woman, go take your philosophies, your ways of doing it, your celebrations, your flowers, just because he didn't took your way you showed him how to helicopter and trampoline and that one, he didn't took your shopping at Sephora for two and three hours. He didn't, girl, if he took that and give it to another woman, you you gon you gon you gonna have you gonna have a knife in your spirit, baby. That's a hurt. That's a hurt. Like you don't want to hurt. That's a hurt that'll make you stalk. That's a hurt that that'll take your mind to another place. It will because it's your ego. Because it's what you mean. <laughs> what you mean? What do you mean? I didn't sat there and waited and did all this, and you gonna change and gonna give all this goodness. I didn't talk you to another woman. Oh, baby. Y'all see? Y'all see all the comments? I'm telling you. When and if he does change, he gonna change for another woman, and it's gonna make you sick. It's gonna, it's going to eat at you like nothing ever will. I'm telling y'all what I know because I've been there. I have been there, and I was too dumb. Oh God, you know. Sometimes I have to think. I have to think. All the stuff I've been through had to be for y'all. The stuff I have been through had to be for y'all. All these people that watch me. All these people that like my channel and like my video, it had to be. Because, baby, when I tell you, I didn't, I didn't have some stupid trapped up in me. <laughs> oh, girl, I'm telling you, that's hurt, baby. That's hurt. I, I can literally, I can literally sit here and just, oh, girl. I cried and cried and cried because I'm like, what is it about me? What is it? Steve Harvey, Lena. Lena, Steve Harvey did it to his wife. Steve Harvey was with Barbara the Builder. This woman slept in the car with the man. This woman, they was eating beanie weenies and going to the gas station eating and stuff. Thank you, lovely. Doing all of this with this man. He telling jokes in these little holes in the walls and stuff. She built him for Marjorie. She built him for Marjorie, girl. Don't you know it? And his ex-wife on the internet looking just as stupid and, and crazy. He did me so Everybody like, oh, yeah. you're ugly. His wife's more beautiful. We understand dragging her, dragging her, dragging her. And she the one built him. I'm telling you, that's why y'all need to recognize that staying until he changes. Not what's it. Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart did it too. He cheating on the next one up. All the way you get them is the way they gonna. The way you get them is the way you gonna lose them. Uh huh. Miss Iniko or whatever her name is. She getting cheated on down. She getting cheated on on tape all over. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He did it. But guess what? Kevin Hart's wife is getting it. She getting it right now. Now she trying to have baby number two to solidify. Girl, they'll be divorced. They'll be divorced. They'll be divorced for real. For real. I'm just saying, y'all. Wait until he changed. It's never worth it. Never, ever worth it. Who don't be a Mary Harvey? Lord, I'm telling y'all. I'm t that's that's deep. That's deep. Because unless you've been there and been through it, you don't understand that hurt, y'all. That's that's some ooh ooh ooh. That's some hurt. That's some hurt, girl. I was so. That, that that hurts that hurts but you have to you have to start at a you have to start at a you sitting around waiting you sitting around thinking oh it won't happen to me you sit yeah lula absolutely you sitting around thinking oh no i know i got him oh i know he could never do better than me oh i know michaela be saying that laughing and he he ha ha okay Oh, 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 oh no. One moment. Baby! What? Are you okay? What happened? What
Okay, y'all gotta go. Gotta go. Baby Fox is tripping. <laughs> Lord. Um. Okay, sorry about that. So the baby fell. He's doing too much on the couch and fell. Okay, so time to go. Let's wrap it up. Do I think building a man is a form of emasculation? It is. It's not a form. It is emasculation. If he's a man, he doesn't need a woman to help build him. So it is very emasculating. Oh, thank you, BMPs. Thank you. Thank you. Um, she says, do you think men like Steve Harvey, who is still the same man from the beginning, actually experience love? Or do you think it's it's all about getting their dream girl? I love, yeah, me too. I love Marjorie and feel bad for Mary. Um, he got his dream girl. He got his dream girl. That's totally what's it, what it's about. Yes, he does love her. He loves the other women for who they were at the time. Everybody, he's not the same man. He is not the same man, baby. He ain't that man from Cleveland or wherever he's from. He's not the same man. He's a better man. So he got a better woman. That's what happens. When you are a better woman, you get a better man. Look what happened to me. Look what happened to me. Now that I'm a better woman... I got a better man. Do I still have love for my um, first husband? Absolutely. Absolutely. I Man, yes, I do. But I'm a better woman and I can't stay there with you. I love you, but baby, stay at the bottom, you know? So it's kind of the same thing. It's kind of the same thing. Um, he's not the same man, though. He's absolutely not the same man. He's a better man and he got a better woman. Um do I feel better for bad for Mary? I don't feel bad for her. Mary need a new one too. He got a new one. You get a new one. That's the thing. But a woman, we need time to heal. We need time to heal. Like I said, you don't need time to heal. You sitting over there healing. Don't find you. I told y'all heal with Neil. Heal with Neil. She didn't want to heal with Neil. She over there still probably licking her wounds, but she's never going to be Marjorie. No matter what Mary does, Mary is never going to be Marjorie. Never. She's not. She's not even, even if she did everything she possibly could, she's never going to be Marjorie because she's still Barb the Builder. That's still her. You got to be realistic. So, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget about the, um, what is it? The, uh, here, I'll put the link. This is the link for all things Michaela Pink. This is, how ghetto is this? Sorry, living doll in here. Um, this is the link for all things Michaela Pink, including the um, emotions, how to use your emotions um, boot camp. So there's the link for that. Yeah, Baby Fox is okay. Baby Fox is okay. He just is rambunctious and mama's got to go. So, um, thank you guys, though. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. Uh, did Marjorie demand the best or she get him when he was ready? Uh, I think it was a little bit of both. If you look at Marjorie, nobody, nobody is even going to halfway come at Marjorie because look how she looks. The way Marjorie looks has totally dictated her entire life. She's got excellent genes, but she knows how to work with what she has, too, right? She's older and so she's working with age as it's coming. She's hot. No man alive is going to have step when they come to Marjorie. That's what it requires. That's what it requires. So I think it was a little bit of both. But the way Marjorie looks definitely has given her a, a, a crazy edge. I'm like a jalapeno margarita. When I accidentally swallow a seed and it goes down the wrong way. <laughs> oh, Lord, who is this? Um, a jalapeno margarita go ahead baby well thank you um thank you guys so so much for your support happy birthday to me yes i'm still celebrating but don't tell me happy belated birthday i'll go into that in the beginning <laughs> anyway so i'm michaela pink and that's what i think bye